Namaste everyone. I am Anusha, founder of Bharat Indi. Uh, welcome to the show, Nivedita ma'am. We are always here with us. And today is the fifth episode on stress management. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Yeah. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so viewers, uh, last four episodes, uh, ma'am told us about why stress comes and uh, uh, how to tackle it, you know, some basics she, she started telling. And then her, in the previous to previous sec, uh, session, we uh, spoke about how sleep will impact, a good sleep will impact the reduction of stress levels. And then in the last uh, episode, she spoke a lot about how uh, food habits and the type of food, the sattvic ahara that we consume, it will also help in reduction of stress in a larger extent. So uh, here is a brief what we have discussed so far. We learned uh, about certain lifestyle changes in the last few sessions, like having a balanced diet, proper sleep, exercising regularly, and so on. So ma'am, uh, now, now as we have talked about certain techniques, uh, we would love to find out from you as to what are those techniques and how will they be uh, influenced on a larger scale uh, in our system, in our metabolism, and thus help in stress management and stress reduction. So today, my first question to you would be, ma'am, are there any techniques to get rid of stress, stress apart from the lifestyle changes? Yeah. See, we've been speaking about stress, stress management for these couple of weeks now. And uh, every time I spoke, I told this, then knowing what it is, how it happens and all that more important is how do i get rid of stress isn't it right so till now we learned to uh, learned about how to uh, how small little changes in our life can bring a great change in our day-to-day uh, -day, um, calm and happy living isn't it we talked about food we talked about exercise we talked about sleep and so on but above all this, there are certain techniques which can really help you to combat stress. One is deep breathing and the other is meditation. So deep breathing has a great impact. Okay. So uh, can you tell us about the benefits of deep breathing? Today you told the first technique as to be uh, deep breathing, right? So please tell us about the benefits, how to do things like that. Yeah. See, deep breathing is a highly effective um, way of reducing stress. What happens by deep breathing? Actually, we are now whatever we are breathing, is shallow breathing. We aren't using the um, actual capacity of our lungs is not used by us. Since we are breathing shallow, we are maybe using 40-50% of our lung capacity. Mm. By deep breathing, we can increase that, which in turn will improve our immunity. Okay. A few years back, we learned about immunity. We learned about breath. Isn't it Correct. how yes. how the COVID time we learned yeah, so yeah. many? Isn't it? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So from the art of living, in fact, we were taking different sessions. There were three batches which I was running morning, afternoon, and evening to see that people improve their immunity. Okay. And uh, take more of oxygen, uh, like techniques to take more of oxygen different breathing exercises were taught to people okay online yeah so deep breathing has several benefits it offers okay. several benefits like uh, it can be boosting immunity it can be uh, alleviating pain then mm. it can uh, what better sleep correct improving focus and of course above that is reducing stress 
Right. So, ma'am, you told that it will help us to improve the focus. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you explain more on that? Yeah. See, what happens? Uh, it is simple. When I am doing deep breathing, more of oxygen is taken in. Okay. When I take more of oxygen in, the flow of oxygen is increased to the brain. Mm. With which it will enhance my concentration. Correct. With which I'll be able to have better attention. So deep breathing exercises are required to improve your focus. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, uh, ma'am, what about meditation? Uh, because we have heard uh, meditation is a buzzword everywhere. <clears throat> Across, uh, you know, even for small kids, maybe, I don't know, uh, from first standard only, my kid has meditation classes and all. Till, you know, it goes up to uh, age, is the uh, sky is the upper limit for the age for uh, doing meditation. So, uh, we have heard a lot about meditation, ma'am. So, can you tell uh, what about meditation? Uh, how yeah. you know techniques in that yes yes see meditation also offers numerous benefits it also helps in enhancing focus it also increases or um, improves your sleep quality it supports in the pain management if you remember we talked about all this as being the features of stress having Correct. pains and aches, not having good sleep, not having proper Correct. focus. Yeah. And uh, once we start deep breathing and meditating, there it is that all these things start falling in place. Okay. Yeah. Wherein uh, we improve our sleep, we improve our, um, what do you call it, emotional health. There is enhancement in the focus. Then it also boosts our overall well-being it also helps in uh, immunity building and of course reduces stress so what what is meditation if you look at meditation is an effortless effort yeah. uh, gurudev shri shri has beautifully explained what meditation is see if you take a jar which is full of muddy water okay you okay. shake it and it what happens what do you see what do you see dirty slush yeah correct yeah kind of water isn't it yes now yes. when i keep it in a place to settle mm -hmm. okay to rest okay that time what happens what happens in that process all the mud settles down in the bottom of the jar and uh, we might uh, see the clear water again. Ha, this is what happens. All the thoughts mm -hmm. will slowly start reducing mm -hmm. and there will be clarity of mind. Correct. That is what happens in meditation. With the practice of meditation, your mind gets clarity. Yeah. Right. So, uh, uh, and all these, uh, this, it's uh, like, you know, maybe the deep breathing or the meditation, what happens is it is highly effective in reducing stress, as I told you. It, it not only reduces stress, but also has an impact on your physiological part, that is your uh, heart rate, uh, mm -hmm. maybe your blood pressure your uh, diabetes if it if your sugar is due to stress yeah diabetes mm -hmm. your thyroid and also your uh, uh, infertility people are suffering with due to stress so Correct. so many things will be taken care of only if you practice this these small different very simple two techniques okay. see of course all the other things do matter your mm -hmm. uh, food, sleep, um, what you eat, all these things matter. But these are the, um, what you call, uh, certain practices you have to put into your day-to-day -day life, which will right. have, which will uh, help in putting things in order. Okay. Yeah. So, ma'am, you told all that... All these uh, things are not in place, and if you mm -hmm. are simply taking medication, also may not work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You're huh. right. 
so if you are doing this up after doing all this yeah if it is required then you can visit a doctor but many of the things will set right if you bring these small little changes in your life and by practicing deep breathing and meditation yes ma'am so uh, uh, like i have shared your contact details in the comment section ma'am because uh, deep breathing and meditation will have to learn from a faculty like you and then you know uh, get uh, you know uh, we have to incorporate all the corrections that you are suggesting to us and then put it as a practice so it should not be yes. just done in a haste just for name sake that we are doing mm -hmm. and okay i have to reduce stress maybe that will become another new stress <laughs> so we have to learn properly from you and uh, that's why i have shared uh, your contact details in the comment section uh, i have another question for you ma'am you told that uh, meditation will help in um, uh, reducing stress can you elaborate on that how exactly mm -hmm. yeah see now when we talk about deep breathing or meditation uh, it it has a great impact in reducing stress okay mm -hmm. how if you remember in one of the uh, sessions we had i talked about how stress has an impact on our vagus nerve our okay. vagus nerve is responsible for many important functions of the body and the brain so what happens is when uh, see as i had told you earlier also there are two uh, nervous systems that is the sympathetic nervous system and the mm -hmm. parasympathetic nervous system so what happens okay. is when i am doing the deep breathing or meditation it activates the parasympathetic nervous system which okay. promotes in relaxation and bringing a uh decrease in the stress response of the body okay which in this process what happens is it lowers the cortisol levels okay and also reduces the heart rate creating a sense of calmness making it a powerful tool to manage stress right so all these things happen as it works on the vagus nerve and the, the vagal tone is higher okay. so when the vagal tone is higher automatically the functions happen properly correct and uh, and person comes into the calm state of mind absolutely yeah okay okay so uh, uh viewers uh, i would like to say that uh, ma'am will be uh, conducting regularly the sessions on deep breathing meditation and uh, many other higher uh, uh, higher tech, you know higher and deeper techniques which she'll be talking in the upcoming sessions as well so uh, meanwhile ma'am can you tell about uh, what kind of classes you are taking and you know what yes. are the timings and all some 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 more information so that uh, viewers can get to know yes um see this is uh, if you if we talk about the stress management as such okay uh, I, as as uh, as you introduced to me i am yes. also uh, uh, by fortune and by passion i am an art of living faculty yeah. right Absolutely. wherein we right. wherein we conduct uh, art of living courses the basic course called as the happiness program okay in this program we work on the overall well being of a person mm. wherein we not only correct their lifestyles but also also they learn the beautiful technique that is called as sudarshan kriya mm. which is a blend of deep breathing and meditation okay yeah so in this program people get to know more in depth about how they can be uh, like you know lead a better life and as well uh, like you know fight the stress okay. so as as i had already mentioned to you if it is mm, not congenital or uh, genetic Mm -hmm. any kind of ailment or disease can be taken care 
it has to reduce as said there are testimonials even from the cancer patients who have recovered due to sudarshan kriya sudarshan kriya is a very very powerful technique maybe in the next session we'll talk deeper and know much more about sudarshan kriya for that matter okay. sudarshan kriya is a boon to the mankind because Correct. for me for me as a person it is undoubtedly a boon great right. that is how i stand in stand forth today to like you know speak about Be what this is ha huh? and have become a trainer a faculty member of the art of living because that has made a great change a uh, 360 degrees change in my life Absolutely. so that is how sudarshan kriya is it is it is something which works magically on a person provided like you have you know terms and conditions apply the the sutra here is you got to be consistent you have okay. to be doing the practice regularly okay and you will see the changes happening in your physio not only the physical but also mental and emotional health the toxins okay. get released uh, mm-hmm. then there is enhancement in your uh, immunity in your focus and better sleep better thought okay. it is it becomes very simple mm-hmm. Correct. and you can handle things much better the right. reason is more of oxygen going inside and the process what happens brings lots of clarity okay so with which you can perform and excel in whatever you do right your intuition intuitive ability will improve oh okay of course it will the intuitive ability will improve to a great extent okay right mm. yes ma'am so uh, i just would like to revise what all we have uh, spoken so far like you had spoken about the vig- uh, vigus nerve isn't it yeah the vigus nerve yeah. yeah so how it has to be uh, you know um, how it has to be toned and for that what all techniques are there right from physiological and lifestyle and then breathing meditation all these things we have been uh, talking about ma'am like uh, last time you had told uh, about the sleep how many hours minimum we need and about the food how much you know morsels of food we are supposed to consume uh, as a meal per day and things like that similarly uh, for today's session you had stressed upon uh, deep breathing so uh, can you give some very simple uh, tips or techniques like you know uh, in a minute how many times we have to breathe when we are sitting for uh, pranayama or something like that? any simple uh, tips because in the further episodes you'll be t- telling them in depth but just for uh, you know uh, a quick uh, remembrance mm-hmm. yeah. it's it's not that you are uh, going to decide how much you are going to breathe in okay it is uh, it is a uh, uh, voluntary natural. happening yeah, yeah it's something natural voluntary it is happening okay uh, many a times we are not even aware that we are breathing yeah, yeah. <laughs> it it is it is just happening huh. and then uh, but then see do you have any idea how much of air are we taking inside our body no it is 11000 liters of air we take in a day Oh, okay. And what about your food? How much? One kilo, two kilo, five kilo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one or two kilos. I'm not sure. Huh. <laughs> And sleep. How many hours can you sleep? Yeah. Let's true. see what happens. But what happens is we sometimes do this. Uh, any uh, like you know so many kinds of maybe fasting, vrat. Ah, uh, yeah. People fast on food. Yeah, yeah. Then, uh, whenever there's a function or exam or something, people uh, maybe mm, what uh, uh, forget sleep. Correct. Yeah, but yeah. can that happen with your breath? No, no, no. 
can we not even you can try in not even a minute you will yes. start suffocating isn't it yes. and breath is the most important aspect of our life and yes. secondly it is the most important uh, source which gives us energy actually okay. speaking it is the most important source that gives us energy yes there is food there is sleep so many things but even breath gives us energy and to the highest yeah. Yeah. how can that happen the more i take do uh, like you know deeper breaths hmm the more of oxygen goes inside and the carbon dioxide is thrown out the yes. more toxins are thrown out hmm. if if 2% of the toxins are going out through your eyes and ears 8% going out from your urine and stool hmm 90% goes out from your breath oh wow. yes for which you should be practicing deep breathing Correct. then whenever we are not doing that you can see people getting irritated negative thoughts getting into an un- unwanted uh, you know hassles so many things going wrong and then there is regret repentance and fear and anxiety because they do not take right decisions what is intuitive ability nothing but a right thought at the right time when you are practicing deep breathing obvious it is that you take a right thought at the right time your mistakes will reduce your mistakes will reduce in that case obviously if your energy is high you are active you are you are taking right decisions then you're happy isn't it there's no yes. room for any kind of negative thoughts there's no room for any kind of fear and all sorts of things will start reducing correct that's why we should be taking deep breaths and moreover there is a connect between the breath and the state of mind also mm-hmm. we haven't really observed that but that is the fact okay it is the truth see how is my breath when i'm angry i think it's very shallow no hmm, it's fast also isn't it yeah very fast, fast and mm-hmm. yeah. really yeah. very fast is it yeah. Yeah. yeah oh and whenever you go to a serene place maybe a place of worship or something how is it then they completely calm serene quiet isn't it yes. so is the state of mind okay isn't correct the yeah. mind state of mind is so and so is the breath yeah. it shows that if your emotions are high your breath is high hmm yeah yes. for when the breath is high the emotions are high isn't it so hence proven yeah. that there is a connect between the breath and the mind mm-hmm. so yeah emotion so if i have to bring a control over my mind on my breath uh, sorry on my emotions i have to be working on my breath okay yeah, so the more i do exercises of breathing it is very easy for me to mind my own mind <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Very nice. Very well explained, ma'am. In fact, in the first, uh, very first episode, you had told that uh, amount of work given to us doesn't change. Amount of time given to us 24-7-365, that also doesn't change. But the amount of energy is what we have to tap and work, mm-hmm. work on. Right. So, I think, yeah. And uh, very beautifully, you've been... Uh, uh, 
uh, like telling in all these sessions and almost all aspects you are covering ma'am and today was a very important session and i am pretty sure everything in the upcoming sessions are also going to have a huge uh, impact in uh, stress management and uh, improvement in day to day living and being successful and happy so uh, thank you very much ma'am uh, we look forward to uh, conducting your live interview in the next uh, upcoming episode thank you so much for joining us ma'am yes thank you so let's meet next time to experience the deep breathing and meditation okay right. next time we will experience now we've got to know what it is so yes. in the next session we will understand or rather experience the beauty of deep breathing and meditation and as we discussed about we have certain uh, uh, courses what we run so on right. that also i will give uh, a lot more uh, information as to how we conduct the courses okay. right so viewers i have uh, shared yes ma'am so viewers i have shared uh, nivedita ma'am's uh, email id as well as facebook profile uh, link you can uh, touch base with her uh, for uh, you know uh, if you are interested to take away the courses uh, immediately and uh, uh, any other doubts if you have you can message this uh, facebook group uh, the facebook page so thank you so much ma'am see you next sunday thank you yes bye bye namaste bye namaste